My name is Victor G. Today I want to speak about Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. Let's go to the scriptures. In Hebrews 13, 8, we read that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let me take you back in time, a couple of years back. A couple of years back, I had shoulder pain, and I remember I was in the comfort of my own room. There was nobody there with me. I was reading the book of John. I was reading John 14, 14, where Jesus tells the believer today, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. So I had shoulder pain and I decided to ask in the name of Jesus Christ for the shoulder pain to be healed. This is all I did. In the name of Jesus Christ, shoulder pain, be healed. And Jesus healed me right then and there. I remind you that I was in the comfort of my own room so I'm getting to the point. There was nobody there to pray for me. So Jesus healed me himself. Jesus did not charge me. Nobody was there around me to say, I prayed for you. Now you have to pay me. Jesus healed me because I went to him directly okay let's go to matthew chapter 10 verse 8 in the last sentence jesus tells the believer today freely you received freely give in my walk i received healing for free in my walk I also received the salvation of my soul for free. I also received kingdom authority, the right to call upon the name of Jesus Christ for free. In my walk, I'm not going to ask anybody for any kind of money, donations, or anything like that. Let's also go to 1 Corinthians 9.18, and we're going to hear what Paul had to say. Paul said, I present the gospel of Christ without charge, that I may not abuse my authority. Friends, if we ever meet, I'm not going to ask you for any kind of money. I gave you two scriptures. I also pray that these scriptures reveal to you what not to do. Don't give people money. If they say they are going to pray for you, they're going to do this for $10. They're going to do this for $20 and that for $30. But they're not asking for, for those little amounts. They're asking for thousands. Be careful when people pray for you and ask you for money. They may be calling upon a different Jesus, not of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are wolves in sheep's clothing. Be careful. If you want to have somebody pray for you, tell them that Jesus said, Matthew chapter 10, verse 8. Freely you received, freely give. And if they insist, take them to 1 Corinthians 9.18, where Paul says, I present the gospel of Christ without charge, that I may not abuse my authority. Stay blessed.